A handful of local business leaders had plenty to say this morning when they were asked about the ripple effect of rising prices on the economy. Senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti shows us what the business people had to say. Whether it's rising prices for groceries or higher costs for shipping, inflation is getting out of hand. It's a vicious cycle. One thing affects the next thing affects the next thing, and it's just a compounding. You know, and we got to figure out how to stop it. This morning, Ohio Treasurer Robert Sprague, along with Valley State Senator Michael Rooley, invited a number of small business leaders to a roundtable to hear about their problems with rising prices. With close to 12,000 jobs needing filled in the valley, owners find themselves offering higher wages to lure new employees. How do we raise our wages? We raise your prices. So the consumer ends up paying every, everything comes back to us at this table as consumers. It's even now affecting the real estate market as potential developers are pulling back from new projects because of the rising costs of construction. Really? So the dollars per square foot to build like a conventional warehouse, build a 25, 30,000 foot warehouse, mm -hmm. used to be $100, $125 a foot. It's yeah. $200 a foot right now. Sprague told the group he and lawmakers are working to change the rules covering state low interest loans to help reduce costs, but that may only do so much. Even food pantries all across Ohio, like Second Harvest here in Youngstown, are feeling the pinch as well, with 35% fewer items on their shelves than a year ago. It comes at a time when directors say they're seeing more seniors coming for food. It's heartbreaking to see someone saying, well, gee, I lived through the, I lived through the Depression. I never thought I'd see this again. Mm. And, and we're getting that a lot. And those here worry things will get much worse before they get better. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.